My name is Fred and I'm an entertainment executive. I am the president of the People's Choice Awards. It's a 35-year-old award show and it honors fan favorites in music, movies, and TV, so it's, it's a lot of fun. I grew up in Kansas, Overland Park, Kansas. I'm a nice Midwestern boy. It was great. I'm the youngest of seven kids, so um, I grew up in Kansas, a very big family. Um, and when I say big, I mean that I have a brother who's six foot ten. I'm six two, and I'm the runt of the litter, which is kind of funny. Because when I'm in New York, I think I'm kind of tall. When I go home, I'm like, wait a minute, am I short? Um, but it was great. I, I grew up there, and then I went to school in Indiana, and then moved to New York 14 years ago. I wasn't one of those people that was dying to move to New York. That wasn't like my dream. But when it presented itself, I'm like, yeah, I think I could live there. And now, of course, you know, there's no turning back. It's just as easy to go to a Broadway or off-Broadway show here as it is to go to a movie in most other cities. So I make it my business to make sure I try to see everything. Actually, I saw Billy Elliot in London, and that I'm really looking forward to seeing on the Broadway. Of course, August Osage County was spectacular, and saying that is a little trite, since clearly the Pulitzer people and the Tony people thought the same thing, um, but it really knocked my socks off. The revival of South Pacific might be one of the best things I've ever seen on a stage. I'd never seen the show before. Um, I didn't realize how familiar I was with the music, and even though it was kind of dated, whatever they did, and it was just, like, it was flawless. It was absolutely flawless. It was one of those things that, like, this is what musical theater is all about. You feel like certain critics are just that. They're critical, and they don't seem to have a love and passion for what they do anymore. And one of the things, I go into anything I see, and, and a theater especially, assuming that I'm going to like it. And, like, you kind of have to, I, I will look for the good and try to find something great about um, every show that I see. Um, that's not to say I love everything, but um, I go, I was sort of like, you know, I'm going to like it unless until they do things that make me not like it, as opposed to the other way around. Um, so I think uh, professional critics certainly have their role and they should be out there. But when it comes to Broadway especially, I think word of mouth and a friend recommendation is more important. And I feel like this is like, you know, this is what I would say to a friend. Like, yes, you should see this or no, you shouldn't. And here's why. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. Well, I mean, it's funny because I would go to these shows anyway, but to, to be able to go kind of under the auspices of Broadway.com and to be able to share my point of view um, and be an ambassador for theater in New York, I mean, what's greater than that? I love it.